Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you, dear wonderful listeners and viewers from across the world. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for trusting us to bring you interesting news. We appreciate you immensely, and I say God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. I'd like to quickly crave indulgence to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys, and God bless you. The leader of the Niger Delta People's Salvation Force, Muhajid, or Mujahid, rather, Asari Dokubo, has said it was time for youths in Nigeria, including him, to take over leadership positions in the country and to start identifying those who are capable to hold political offices in the next general elections. He also asserted that the older generation had failed in the country and the next phase was for younger generation. The former Niger Delta militant leader, born in 1964, said, power must be taken by youths, adding, the older politicians had nothing to offer. The Cuban made the statement while supporting former military head of state, Ibrahim Badamasi Babangida. The remark he made on the age bracket of Nigeria's next president. Reacting, Asari Dokubo said, The older generation of leaders had failed, hence, the youth should rise up. The former militant's leader spoke in a video on his Facebook page where he blamed Nigerians' challenges on bad leadership caused by the older politicians. He said, the younger generation must step forward now and take power. Power is not given, power is taken. Now that the older generation has realized that they failed, Ibrahim Babangida has come out to say that it is time for these people to retire. And that is the truth. They have nothing to offer. We have to look beyond their shoulders for much younger people to take over leadership positions and correct the wrongs and the stagnation that the black race has been put into. For Ibrahim Babangida, I say thank you for the first time for saying what will change and totally revolutionize the face of politics in this part of the world. So, for us, young people, we should come together and identify those of us who are capable of leading this change. This is the time, he concluded. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning what he has said? Asari Dokubo is the de facto president of the Biafra government, according to the last time, the last report we heard about him. So the question is, is he has he jettisoned that particular um, Biafra government um, president? And um, is he now wanting Nigeria? Because he had been part of the call for the breaking up of Nigeria. In several videos, he has actually attacked Namde Kano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, you know, over claims on Biafra and all that. There was a time he said that Biafra was originally not an Igbo name, but uh, the Ijos or the South-South people that owned Biafra, as it were. So what exactly is he trying to say while jumping on what the former uh, military head of state had said concerning Nigeria? If he wants to pursue Biafra, I think personally, I think this is my opinion and my view, I stand to be corrected. 
if Asari Dokuba wants to be relevant, he should stay in one particular lane. If he wants Biafra, he should stand and pursue the course of Biafra, just like Namdekano is doing. Namdekano over the time has made it very, very clear that all he wants is Biafra and nothing more, nothing less. So I think Asari Dokubo should do the same thing. You can be talking about Biafra yesterday, then today you are talking about Nigeria. Now you want to, uh, you want to lead, you want to take a position, you want to take up a position in government or a leadership position where you can lead alongside other youths. It is the time you are talking about what uh, IBB had said. So for me, I think it presents. Uh, Asari Dokubo as one who is not stable. It presents him as one who is not uh, who is not defined in what he wants exactly. Because you cannot you know stand for Biafra yesterday, then today you are standing for Nigeria. Yesterday you were the president or de facto president of the de facto Biafra government, something what have you that was uh, put together, and today. You are calling for youths to rise up and take up leadership position in Nigeria. What is your business with Nigeria if your government is Biafra? So I think there is a confusion somewhere. And uh, the question is, who is confused at this point? Now the Kano has been very, very sure of his stance right from day one, right from when he began. And he has said it, that all he wants is Biafra. Through referendum, he has said it time without number, and everybody knows Namdekano for it. That once you mention the name Namdekano, what ne comes to your mind next is Biafra and Ipo. But in the case of Asari Dokubo, it is not the same. So it tells you to a very large extent that the man may not be sincerely committed to the cause of the Biafra restoration. I don't know. I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong, you know, but it is the feeling that I'm beginning to have because I see no reason why he should be jumping guns or jumping sheep and uh, putting his interest in what IBB has said concerning Nigeria if he does not really, really want Nigeria. Well, he has a right to uh, that's a part of his fundamental human rights. You can't take that away from him. And his freedom of expression as well, you can't take that from him. But it will have sounded much more better if he ensured to be known for something rather than for everything. Well, it is what it is. What do you think concerning what he has said? Well, drop by at the comment section. Let's know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Please kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you guys on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.